recently, over the past couple of days, some allegations have hit a content creator by the name of George Not Found. If you've heard of him, it's probably because he was a part of the Dream Team. He was on the Dream SMP. He's best friends with Dream. He knew Technoblade and all the other stuff. He got hit with some allegations of some sexual abuse behavior between him and another streamer slash content creator by Katie Bugs. And she, in a live stream very similar to shelby or shovel because she was directly inspired by shelby to go ahead and do the exact same thing came out with a story about how she went to a party over at vidcon and she met up with some content creators they were invited to their hotel room they started drinking and then one of them started getting really physical with her by like wrapping their arm around her even though they didn't ask her if she was okay with that eventually they thought that she was comfortable enough with him putting his hands and arms like underneath her clothing and stuff like that and it took katie a very long time to come up with this story because obviously she felt very embarrassed by this behavior and she felt like that she couldn't come forward with the story for probably a multitude of different reasons that she's explained already before but i think one of the definite reasons why she probably didn't come out with this story whatsoever is because she didn't want to face any of the ridicule for coming out with this story because people wouldn't have believed her if she didn't come out with some of the stuff that she came out with or because George Not Found is a part of the Dream SMP like fandom, and that fandom is ridiculously like ravenous towards anybody who tries to come out with even an inkling of a like an ill will story against any of their members. But obviously, we know now that she has come out with the story industry, and she didn't directly name George Not Found, but people have already figured it out that it was him. So George made his response. I was initially tempted to go ahead and make a video talking about it when it was just allegations of that so far, but I waited for George to make his response. Since then, he has done that, and then Katie responded with even more, even more tellings of what happened during her stay over at the hotel room and a couple of other screenshots and evidence that points to people knowing what happened and people knowing what her age was at the time, because that was one of the things that was very confusing for her. Uh, the entire situation of whether or not she was actually the age of 21 or she was 18 years old and multiple times she has stated that she was 18 years old and she had just turned 18 before going to that hotel room and that he apparently was already well aware of this but in his response he said that he wasn't aware of this because he either just didn't hear her or didn't look at her instagram bio when he saw her profile for the first time for some reason he just didn't know but not that it really mattered to begin with to begin with because he already confirmed and confessed that he did inappropriately touched her against her consent. This already feels like that it should already be completely done and over with. Uh, I'm not sure why people are still kind of not believing her story or anything whatsoever. Something about like the way that she awarded all of this and the fact that she like wrote it down for the live stream that she did, even though she gave an explanation why she wrote it down in the first place instead of just doing it live. And even then, George pretty much did the exact same thing because he did. He showed off an edited video during the live stream instead of doing it live himself. So it doesn't really matter. It's just a double standard at that point. But yeah, basically, it's just exactly as I explained it. That she went to the hotel room with George Not Found, and we later would figure out that Dream was also there. He responded to that whole series of allegations. And eventually it got to a point where she had been drinking so much, her and her friends were drinking so much, everybody in that entire room was just completely drunk the entire time and the entire night. And eventually it got to a point where the two of them were cuddling. But at no point did George ever ask if it was okay for him to get more physical with her, if it was okay for her or okay for him to start touching her in ways that she may not have been comfortable with. And the only real thing that George has to use as a rebuttal for all of this is trying to place blame on her friends, which I'll get into in a little bit, uh, which is trying to shift the blame off of him, but to her friends instead for bringing her into that hotel room, into that party in the first place, and for allowing her to be in a position where she was able to go into an area where she was legally able to get alcohol, even though it would be considered underage drinking because she was only 18 years old at the time. And he would also just assumed that she was 21 years old and just assumed by her body language that she was okay with him getting more physical with her. Even though they had barely just met with one another, didn't really know each other all that well, so it doesn't really make much sense for him to go off of just body language alone to assume that she was okay with it. And something that really irritated me the most was the fact that he didn't 
take the steps and the avenues of making sure that she was actually of legal drinking age of 21 because I seriously have been trying to contemplate and figure out like what would have happened if he did realize that she was 18 years old and not 21. Would he have kicked her out of the hotel room for being there when she was under 21 and still drinking? Would he have not continued with that inappropriate behavior and stopped cuddling with her entirely and just continued on doing something else in the hotel room besides you know, touching her and like groping her and stuff like that? What would he have done? Honestly, I'm not entirely too sure, but just most of this just goes off of him not asking what her age was, not confirming what her age was, and not asking for consent of whether or not it was okay for him to touch her, period, or touch her in the way that he did. And that's basically just the entire thing that I like got off of this situation and kind of irritated me the most was he basically already confirmed that he did what he was being accused of doing, which was inappropriately, inappropriately touching someone whilst they were drunk and without their consent. So what is there really left to talk about? But for some reason, people still want to talk about it. So Katie provides more screenshots of the two of them talking with one another, discounting some of the evidence that George uh, showed in his uh, video response on his live stream. Like the wristband that she was wearing apparently was supposed to indicate that she was at a party that was only for people who were over 21 years old. So that way they can go and legally drink. But uh, not only was, not only did she go to a party that was only for people who, who were over the age of 18, so not even 21, but at no point did she actually ever wear a wristband that indicated that she was over the age of 21. And she didn't really have a wristband at all because she was wearing a wristband that indicated that she was allowed to go into an 18 plus party, not a 21 plus party. And he also just immediately assumed that she was 21 because she was hanging around with a bunch of people who were 21 years old. And because one of them just so happened to also be wearing a wristband that indicated that they were 21 years old, which just seems negligent at worst because how do you just assume that someone is of a particular age just because they're around a particular person who just so happens to be a certain age that just doesn't make sense to me that that just comes off as negligent and you didn't do your due diligence to figure out if this person was actually of a particular age if you were genuinely confused as to what age they were they were at, at any point you should have just asked it's not that hard to just go ask go ahead and ask a simple question as hey, how old are you? Or to ask for their ID. You know, it might, you know, sound lame to do, but sometimes that's just what you have to do. And then she also shows some text messages of someone who happened to be in the hotel room at the time of when this happened. And they even messaged her saying if they were okay with, you know, what happened, right? And, you know, screenshots are right there. I'm probably going to show it in the video. Also, a couple other screenshots that I mentioned before, like the whole, like, wristband thing. Yeah, it just seriously seems like everything that happened could have been easily resolved if he had just asked simple and basic questions and instead of just assuming that he was allowed to act a particular way but instead he just didn't do it right this, this was just a complete lack of due diligence on george not found's hand and i think he is suffering the repercussions for it right because i think carl jacobs i think it is has like somewhere in his bio on his twitch channel like fuck george or something like that uh so he's like distancing himself from george not found uh dream is being drugged back into the dirt because of this whole situation about him like like covering for george about like the sexual abuse allegations made against him uh another one of their friends i think by puns also got hit with some allegations but i'm not really going to talk about that because i think that's already been fully resolved to begin with anyways and i really think that situation didn't really need to pan out the way that it did but whatever it did it happened the way that it did so nothing that i can do about it overall though i think george needs to learn from this i think he seriously fucked up in this situation and i think he in the future if this doesn't completely ruin his career or anything seriously needs to do better due diligence and make sure that he doesn't behave a particular way ask the, the person that he's interacting with for their consent if he plans on getting physical with them in any particular way and just be a better person, right? Just do what needs to be done, even if people look at you differently. Like, it doesn't fucking matter, right? Just stop touching people inappropriately against their consent. Ask for people's age if you genuinely are confused, if you don't know what age they are. Just do the right thing, and you won't fuck up, right? Do the right thing, and this won't ever happen again.
anyways that's pretty much all i have to say i don't know just some people are saying that like he's innocent people are saying this that and the other but i think he's already just pretty much confirmed that he did do what he did so there's not really a whole lot left for there to be said about the situation he messed up he messed up in a huge way and katie you know has to has to live with this experience but now she doesn't have to be afraid anymore because she finally confronted someone who she was genuinely afraid of constantly just like with shovel she would see just pictures of him and freak out because just seeing his face at all in any capacity just made her so terrified especially considering that he was such a massive creator with such a ravenous fan base totally makes sense you know and i'm really unfortunate it's really unfortunate that this had to happen and i'm so sorry for katie that this had to happen to her to begin with but hopefully this is a learning lesson for everybody and actually i mentioned before earlier that i was going to mention katie's friends and how they fucked up in the situation i sort of agree i sort of agree with that because they shouldn't have allowed her to be in a position to you know be able to drink alcohol when she was supposed to but i think in other ways there are people that people were trying to place blame like why did they leave their friend and yada yada it's like at that from the context that's being given from both katie and even from george everybody was so intoxicated from alcohol that nobody was really fully aware of what was really happening right like anything could have been going through their minds because they were so pissed drunk at the time that they probably didn't didn't realize what was even going on even though it was so blatant at the time uh I don't know. I think there's a lot of blame that could be shifted in so many people's directions that aren't really all that fair. Honestly, I just, I don't really know what else to say at this point. You know, I kind of feel like I've already said my piece and that's why I'm going to go ahead and end it up here. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more, please be sure to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully it's not about something terrible as this. Hopefully George learns from his mistakes and doesn't fuck up next time. Uh, it, 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 that is if he still has a career of course so yeah that's it i'm out peace Let that